Hi folks, Frank the Pest Geek here. We're going to be discussing the difference between weeds. What's the difference between a sedge, a broadleaf, and a grass weed, and why you cannot get control with just using one product. Check this out. Okay, here we have a lawn that's really bad. I mean, this is nightmarish. This is not a grass you want. This isn't St. Augustine. This is just a grass that grew in. The customer does not have irrigation back here, and he doesn't water it, so when we're stressed, um, he only waters the front of the house. He doesn't water his backyard. When it's stressed, when it's drought stressed, it's going to get damaged. Well, over the years, it just got damaged, and we're trying to control. He's okay with having, like, one species of grass that at least it looks green, but he doesn't want all the broadleaves. So we've got here, I'm going to show you, this right here, uh, right here, the little thing right here, the globe, that's a sedge. And to use, to control this product, you're going to need a product like Impero. Uh, you're going to need Celsius. You're going to need um, Sedge Hammer to control this type of product. Uh, you're not going to control this weed with a broad leaf herbicide. Now, this is a broad leaf. And that is also a broad leaf. You know, and there's a couple of other broad leaves, like that's a broad leaf, and that's a broad leaf. So anything like uh, MSM, uh, Celsius, will control most of these species. Now, not every species is on the label. So unless you're a weed uh, nerd that you have memorized all 150, 200 weed species that are on both labels, you're going to have to use sometimes a combination product using MSM, um, which is Manor, or using a product like Celsius together to control all of them because you have so many, you know, different weeds. So one of the things that it will never control is a grass weed. Well, there's a biological difference between a grass, a uh, broadleaf weed, and a sedge. Uh, they're not the same. You, it, you know, the term weed is simply a, a term used to describe something that wasn't planted that is not desired. So in other words, if he would have planted this grass, but he ended up with this, this is the weed. In this case, this is also a weed because he didn't plant it. It just happens it grew there naturally, and he's willing to take that as a ground cover, and it's acceptable to him. So in this case, this would be considered a, a weed. If you had St. Augustine or you had Bermuda or any other, everything would be a weed. The problem is there's no control. This requires manual removal. Um, you can't use a product like glyphosate, Roundup. It will kill everything. Then you would just have to plant everything new. So understand that you might have to make a tank mix with your sprayer uh, with three or more products to get control. Now, if you use atrazine, um, but the problem is you're at 95 degrees in the summer. You can't use atrazine because you could potentially burn the lawn. The label says you can't do it. So you've got to follow the label directions and know that you could probably get rid of this and this altogether, but atrazine is, you know, a 50-year-old product that is not exactly eco-friendly. It's not a modern product. Most of the modern products are more eco-friendlier. It's not that they're inert, that they're organic, none of that. We're just talking about from an environmental perspective. Uh, they're more environmentally sound and responsible, uh, and you're using them at very small quantities compared to the old products where you're adding pounds and pounds of product to get it solved. So I hope this helps. This video has been helpful to you. Do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel below, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. This is Frank the Pest Geek wishing you a spectacular day.